Hello and welcome, you are gaming with me, Brathgar, and today I have some more loadout weapon crafting action for you. Now today's recommendation comes from Lust of Serenity, it must be a Firefly fellow fan here, big fan of the series myself, at any rate, they have a very interesting build for us today, and it is a double launcher build so let me get into the details right down here all right so the first build or suggest a load that is consisting of two launchers the launcher is basically a tri barrel with a stock of your choice here so let me let me customize this for you lust of broth <laughs> at any rate it is a tri barrel stock of your choice in this case he recommends or she i should say recommends aluminum with the x-gray scope Tri barrel improved semi auto trigger. Uh, just called out the semi auto trigger. I happen to have the improved, and also happen to have the improved slug here. Everything else is standard, so it's just normal rockets, normal impact, normal contact, and normal explosion. So, very, very, very simple. Now, the idea is that you team up this weapon, which in its own right here has enough power in it to take out somebody with 100 health. As you can see there, the damage is 30. 5.74 and this is a slightly upgraded but still you should have enough to take out a player with 100 health there at any rate the secondary weapon you can do here is hot lust of broth and that's basically the same thing but with pyro with extra extra damage and that basically what they're saying here is lust of broth is recommending that you plan out your shots as if you're basically using a single shot rifle so you don't want to just launcher I should say you don't want to just spam out your shots what you're going to want to do is actually plan them ahead and you know make them count so you're not just firing a bunch off and then reloading because that really doesn't work when you have multi barrels you really kind of got to plan them and the more you plan the better it off you are so let's go ahead and test this out real quick here just in the firing range so I'm I got hot lust of broth in my hands right here <laughs> that just sounds ridiculous all right <laughs> um, at any rate so it works pretty good I mean, those dudes over there have no idea what's going on. They're just like, I'm on fire. And they're about to burn out. So that's one way to work. Basically, Lust of Serenity here is saying that you, this weapon here is your secondary gun. You're, you're supposed to use it as a backup weapon as opposed to the slug launcher itself. And the slug launcher itself is actually, in my opinion, more oppressive. Impressive, not oppressive. That's something completely different. So let me test this out and show you what is up. So, Lust of Broth here, which is the triple barrel, pretty much pretty standard. I mean, the only like stuff that's more expensive on it is that X-ray scope, and you realistically don't need that, but it's there. I mean, yeah, I missed a shot there, but one, two, three, took out those players. And the reload time is really quite short. I mean, you saw how fast that was. I'll give you the seconds here in just a second. But I mean, look at this. It, it does a ton of damage. If you can plan out your shots like that, that's <laughs> a really powerful weapon. So what is that reload time here? Because that's going to be really important. Reload time is under two seconds. So that's right there with the rifle. That, that's right there with Gatsbroth, I believe. If I were to make this into a rifle, just with the standard 1.6. Yeah, not far off. Not far off at all. I don't want to say this. Uh... All right, so the loadouts I'm actually going to be running here, Lust of Serenity here says you're going to either want to use a grenade, a health pack, and then I threw in jumping boots because I figured <laughs> it's a launcher, right? And that's what people use all the time. So let's go ahead and r do some matches here and see how it works in the real world, shall we? Hello and welcome to Blitz Trailer Park at night. I got Lust of Broth in my hands. <laughs> and we have destroyed everybody right off the bat here. All right, so while I've been able to play a couple of rounds, none of them have been all that good. It's been all been very laggy and all that sorts of things. Regardless, the, um, the thing I've noticed so far with these weapons thus far is that having them only being able to shoot at the ground has been a real problem because as I've been playing against some experienced players, they don't stay on the ground very much, especially if you're going up against somebody with jump boots. They're really hard to counter. So sometimes you'll get those players that, you know, they're doing the big one rocket jump boot build. And 
it's just really hard to counter something like that because they come down and then they go up for a long time. So I've noticed a couple of problems, at least there, that I would have really liked to have proximity. But at the same time, proximity would take your damage down, and I thought, well, maybe you could counter it with mortar and just learn how the mortar trajectory was. Now that's that's kind of my personal preference, but that's just kind of how I run my guns. Ugh, this is gonna be all flack. Welcome to Blitz. Let's see how it works. Let me just throw grenades in there. Yeah! Whee! Who else wants them? All right. See, now that was a little bit too spammy. It's not what I want to do. Of course, what I really want to do is have some health and not get blown up by all the grenades that people throw in there. <laughs> this isn't going to be the best mode just because it's going to be constant spam of flak guns and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, realistically, look at the poor pings I'm getting from just about everybody. Ooh, juice is nice with this. Come on, buddy. These people are a little bit more land-based, so that's going to help me out. Ooh, and they're all going to line up right there outside the door. <laughs> We're still trying to get this flag. Can't believe we haven't gotten it yet. We're like all over it. Come on. Ah, I see you and your grenade. There it goes. Playing that one out. That one's worked pretty good there. All right, Lust of Serenity. I do like kind of the ability to learn the launcher, and having three rounds is a really good way to kind of do that. Whoops, not playing that one out. See? You just learn. I've also learned that I need to make sure I am firing off enough rounds. I can really wait a long time if I didn't want to. But just like that, <laughs> that guy and I traded. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's better than having just one launch rocket, I should say. Well, I don't know if it's better because you can really do a lot of cool stuff with the one rocket launcher. But having that extra ability there. You can really pick out more targets and not leave yourself vulnerable for a long time. At the same time, you also do less damage when you do connect. Come on, burn down. Nope, not quite. Ah. So how am I doing? I'm six of six. So I'm right now I'm even. Turn blitz isn't half bad. I am running the Tesla grenades, as that's pretty obvious. Now somebody that is above me there is really hard to hit. Just because I have to hit him on the ground. And that guy there, I could have connected if I had proximity on. But since I don't, can't. That guy will burn out. Maybe. I'm gonna shoot behind that person. There's a good time to shoot all my guns, but I ended up missing one. I really just feel like not having proximity on a rocket is gonna hinder my ability to really connect with players there. I mean, right there was kind of a... There's a small window where you can actually hit on the ground if you can't just personally hit the person. I mean, obviously, if you can hit the person, you're going to do a lot of damage to him. But you limit the opportunities you get. So, I don't know. I'd be curious to try this again with proximity, just to see how it works. Obviously, you can kill one player in a three-rocket salvo, but the number of times I've done that thus far is not a lot. That was kind of a waste.
I did try it with sticky rounds. That was a big mistake. Don't try that. Because <laughs> it ruins the entire part of having impact. And all that splash damage you get otherwise if you don't directly hit somebody. Oh, hello. Alright, everybody. Crowd up. Crowd up for me. Ah. Nice. Where's it gonna be? Yeah, back there. Right back where all of them spawned. Unfortunately, they shot down a bunch of... Gosh darn it. That was kind of cheap. Take this, I'm gonna need it. There we go. Ah, I was able to connect with him. That was actually a pretty good strategy there. He's using the disguise to run a very slow rocket. Hmm. I gotta pay attention. Uh, had my teammates not gotten that guy, I would have. Ah, oh, come on. There we go, team. I'm liking it. It's different to see a weapon build that is. that has double launcher. I mean. I don't know of any weapon builds. It's the first recommendation I've ever gotten that has double launchers. That's right. Finally. Now we get one of the cheap ones. <sighs> I wish I would have connected a little more. There we go. That guy will go out. But since it was done with Pyro, somebody else got the kill. I could see where if this weapon build has enough versatility. If you were able to plan it out and get good enough at shooting these rockets and real accurate since you're going to build a lot of skill really quickly throwing that many rockets out there, you're really going to get good at Well, first off, but that's one big benefit I see is that you're going to get really good at shooting those rockets very quickly because you're doing it about three times as much as what normal people do which use one of the single rocket builds so that's something to be said learning the grenades is going to be another big benefit and I'm not particularly good at launchers that aren't mortar that's kind of what I've used I thought you were disguised. Oh. Oh. But I could see it being a powerful build, especially if you build it up. You have to really kind of build in some extra power to it. I would try learning mortar on top of this, if nothing else. Don't necessarily need the proximity, but I would say mortar is something you're going to want to do. Now why? Why mortar? Mortar gives you more opportunities to hit people that are above you because you can kind of arc it over and land it on the other side of the ledge type deal. It does kind of reduce your total range, but um, these rockets are still pretty slow to be effective that far away. Okay, now's the opportunity. I'd be curious to see the same build also with double barrels. Come on. I'm 
I'm kind of spamming that out there, aren't I? <laughs> it's working pretty good, though. 20 and 13. I would say that's a pretty positive result thus far. Use that x-ray to your advantage. Figure out where people are. Ah, that was so close. Come on, team. You can do it. Uh-oh. Now they're capturing it. Throw those grenades in there. Get a cheap kill. Make use of that. Come on. Come on. There we go. Just gotta get on the flag in order to capture it. Boosting. This is making a big difference for my team, by the way. Nice big difference. I think I'll make use of it. Come on! Woo! Oh, he didn't jump up. Come on, buddy, burn out. Come on, elbow. Darn it! Tried to focus on reloading. That's the other thing, though. Once you're out of three, those three bullets, you are out. Two seconds is still a long time in a gunfight. It's less. Less than four, obviously, but still long. We're gonna lose this one. Uh, maybe not. Making that pyro work. So is that guy, though. Come on. Grenade on there. Woo! Hot lust of breath. Here we go. Spammed it off. But I still got the original. Yeah. <laughs> that is the primary after all. Gosh, that is hot. Don't want that on me. Come on. Oh, no. Darn it. That's what I was going after. was a long way to go for health. Should have just used the opportunity to get more on the flag, but... Getting better. That'll do it. Famous point. The one we all fight over. There's the enemy. Hi. Good job, team. Well, that's worked out pretty good. Lust of Serenity. I like the build. I like the uniqueness of using the... Uh, twin launchers. I think it has a lot of different potentials for a lot of different reasons. So, um, yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it somewhat informative, maybe leave a like on the way out or just plain enjoyable. And also sharing it with your friends is going to make a big difference. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. And also, if you have a weapon build that you want me to try, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Like a full loadout too as well. And if I got the blues to do it, I'll give it a shot for you. And depending on what they do in 5.0 and how I end up working that out, I might need the components as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Brathgar, out.